Hey guys, welcome back. This video is a simple and quick fix for your Bambula AMS clock and jamming issue. If you have a serious problem on the LAN filament jamming, you should consider contact customer support in case you want to get void by opening it up. If you have any question, leave it on the comment section below. Please subscribe and hit the like button. With that being said, let's get started. Filament jamming or clogging with the AMS system apparently happen quite a lot if you don't use it correctly. I have encountered a total of three times of clogging during initial test. The first time was wet filament snap within the system. The other times are TPU jamming issue. The first step of our troubleshooting process is to define the issue. Let's say your printer suddenly stops working. The printer either stops in the middle of a print or extruder still running, but no filament come out from the extruder and you realize there is a notification from bamboo lab slicer unable to unload the filament. So you walk to the printer and notice that the white indicator light within the AMX box start flicking red color. At the same time, you are not able to manually pull the filament out. Either filament was clogged or jammed internally. I was trying to pull out the filament directly from the filling internal, but it didn't work at all and you should not try it doing this one. Let me introduce a better way to do it. At least I think it's better. First. Turn the printer off before you perform any work. Remove the power connector core if you like. Rotate to the back of the printer. You'll see this TPFE tube connect from the AMS box to the extruder filling line. Let's first disconnect the adapter connected to the extruder. Pinch your blue tube terminal. Release the PTFE tube. You can see filament is being removed from the extruder side. We can confirm that clock issue is not on the extruder side. Then, the issue must be under AMS box. Continue disconnect the wire on the back. PTFE tube still intact with the connector inside a little white box. Use the shorter side of Allen wrench to push the black tube terminal to release the PTFE tube. You can fish all the filament out. with a pretty good amount of tension. Press down the lever and put the filament out gently. Aha! We got the filament out now. Let's take a look. You can see the PU filament is tangled badly. It must be happened during the filament feeding and retraction process. That's why use a TPU on AMS is a no-no. Let me show you another TPU filament I have stuck within here. You can see this one is not as bad as the other one, but it's still clogged. So there is a very little room for filament to puffing through the gear set here. 
Also, sometimes the wet film might be snapped with an AMS system. It could be fixed with exactly the same way. Let's put everything back. Slide the tray back. Make sure you don't pinch two wires underneath. Carefully slide the gear side down. The tray will be filled on at the right place automatically. Put two screw back on. Don't over tighten it. Connect the PTFE tube back. Reconnect all the tubes and wire back. Alright, we are ready to rock. Let's power on and run the test print. Hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.